going to prove to you that Catholic idolatry is witchcraft. The idols of the Roman Catholic Church is witchcraft. So I'm going to show you that the Bible lumps in idolatry with witchcraft, and that idolatry and witchcraft go hand in hand, thus proving that the Catholic idols, like the Virgin Mary, the saints, is witchcraft. Roman Catholicism is not Bible-believing Christianity. Roman Catholicism is pagan, Babylonian, Roman witchcraft. It is not the faith once delivered unto the saints. So first of all, 2 Kings 16, verse 3 to 4. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, yea, he made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from, the children, from, from before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places, and on the hills, and under every green tree. So he's basically doing pagan worship. You know, sacrificing uh, incense, burning incense, which is what the Catholics do. They burn incense to their Queen of Heaven statues, which Jeremiah 44 condemns the Queen of Heaven and identifies the Queen of Heaven as a pagan Babylonian goddess, but the Catholics call Mary the Queen of Heaven. But in reality, they're worshiping the pagan Babylonian Queen of Heaven. I'm not going to get too much into that uh, whole other video of its own, but we see that basically child sacrifice, we see the abomination of the heathen, and we see burning incense to idols, all lumped into one. Next point, 2 Kings 17 verses 16 to 17. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made them molten images, even two calves, and made a grove, and worshipped all the host of heaven, and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, and used divination and enchantments, and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. So again, we see, they're making molten images, they're making graven images, and they're doing divination and witchcraft, and enchantments, basically. So we see again, idolatry and witchcraft go hand in hand. 2 Kings 21, verses 6 to 7. And he made his son to pass through the fire, and observe times, and use enchantments, and dealt with familiar spirits and wizard, wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger, and he set a graven image of the grove that he had made in the house of the Lord, said, of the Lord which the Lord said to David. And to, and to Solomon his son in the house, and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all out of all tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. So again, he's child sacrifice. We see child sacrifice. We see divination and witchcraft, observing times, which is basically um, witchcraft, essentially. Observing times, all this stuff. It's it just witchcraft, all of it. Familiar spirits. And then he's setting up a graven image. It goes hand in hand. Second Chronicles 33, verses 6 to 7. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Hinnom. Also he observed times, and used enchantments, and used witchcraft, and dealt with a familiar spirit, and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. And he set a carved image, the idol, which he had made in the house of God, of which God has said to David and Solomon his son, in this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. I mean, totally just disgusting. You make a graven image and you put it in the house of God. I mean, pretty wicked. But... The Catholics do the same thing. I mean, of course, the Catholic churches are not the house of God, obviously. Uh, the Catholic churches are pagan temples. But let's just, let's just say for a second it was the house of God. They're bringing idols into the house of God. So, it's witchcraft. Roman Catholicism is pagan, Babylonian, Roman witchcraft. It is not Bible-believing Christianity because they don't believe the Bible. They believe their, papal, their pagan papal traditions. They don't believe the word of God as the sole authority. They go by the words of men, the popes, the priests, the church councils, the, the creeds, the papal bulls. You know, scripture means very little to them, quite frankly. I mean, official Catholic teaching even says the pope, basically, the, if you fall, basically, I don't know how it goes exactly, but basically if the pope says one thing and scripture says another, you follow the pope, basically. And the pope is a blasphemer, too. He's giving himself the title of Holy Father. The phrase Holy Father only appears once in the Bible in John chapter 17, and it's a reference to God, God the Father. It's not a reference to any man. 
title for God, total blasphemy. And like, like blasphemy, you know, witchcraft is obviously blasphemy, but the Roman Catholic Church is witchcraft, which is therefore blasphemy. The Roman Catholic Church is not Christianity, it is paganism. So don't be deceived. These idols of the Roman Catholic Church, they're not, they're not icons, they're not just venerating them. It is worship. The way they, they bow down to it, they pray to it, they burn incense to it, the Bible identifies that as worship. When they're burning incense to the idols, you know, the, the carved images burning incense, that's worship. So they, they can deny it all they want, but they're worshiping idols by biblical standards. Maybe not by the standards of their papal traditions or their, their pagan popes or whatever, but, but, but by Bible standards, they're worshiping those images. They're idols. And it's witchcraft. So don't be dece deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.